my trip to Romania was so memorable for many reasons. And yes, my birth family was a part of that, but also seeing all of the places that were relevant to my adoption was, I, I never could have, I just never anticipated how meaningful that would be. Mm -hmm. And you know, that kind of leads into like a little segue of this, um, this really brief like excerpt from my book about actually- Oh yes, please. And Absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I was going to say, you don't have to tell all the things because I know a lot of this is in your book from Gypsy to Jersey, which I, that name is brilliant. I'm just going to read you a short little part. And this was about my trip, a piece of my trip there. As we drove, I became less tense and was looking forward to seeing some of the sights. Our first stop was Arad, where we found parking on the congested narrow streets and landed right in front of the courthouse. It was a pretty beige three-story building with white columns and capital gold letters across it. As I stood in front of the courthouse and I had my photo taken, I imagined what that day must have been like for my parents. Mm -hmm. I pictured them walking in thinking, the day we have been waiting for has finally come, knowing that they were only steps away from having a family. The next stop was the maternity hospital of Arad, the place where I was born. I could not walk up to it like the courthouse because there was a fence around the perimeter of the building. But from a distance, I saw the large white building with many square frame windows and I looked at it. I pictured Daniela going into labor and holding me for the first time. I could see her looking at me with a lot of love in her heart, the same way she had looked at me many times on this trip. I could only imagine the level of stress she was under when she had me, thinking of having to raise two children on her own, I wondered if the stress she felt outweighed the happiness and what was going through her head when she took me home that day. And there was just something about visiting those sites that made that trip so special. And just all of those places and even visiting an orphanage, which wasn't a part of my story, but easily could have been for that time period. And just as I stood in front of each of those buildings, I just pictured um, my parents, I pictured my birth mother and, you know, I kind of just went back in time and, and pictured what that was like for them. So it was a really powerful experience. What a beautiful piece of that story that you just shared, because I think every single one of our children at some point in their life will probably feel and wonder that same thing, right? So many of our children, even if there's an open adoption. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Where can people read the rest of your story? Yes. Um, so I'm in a bunch of different places, but if you're like me and on Amazon, like every day, <laughs> that's probably the easiest place to get it. <laughs> awesome. And if you are on Amazon, please put back to the roadmap fund as your for Amazon smiles um, to donate like I think 0.1%, but it all adds up. <laughs> so you can buy her book and give back, back to the Roadmap Fund.